Well, how is everybody today? We are back on the HQ again to solve some problems that it has. So we're probably going to be focusing on three things today. Uh, number one, well not number one, we'll be doing it later. But um, one of them is our carby is, I think, is buggered. I think we have a warped main body and um, it's letting fuel get into the car, well, into the engine at idle when I don't want it to. So um, the idle mixture screws are pretty much unresponsive. I've pulled the carburetor apart multiple times um, and it's just not going to really get along with us. So I've got to put, um, I'm going to put a different carb on there to actually see if that's the problem. So I've stole the carburetor from work. So, stole this uh, double pump from work. I didn't steal it, I borrowed it to just see if that's the problem. So we'll chuck him on there and if our plugs read different and all consistent, well we know that's a problem, so we'll do that. Also, another problem that we have with the car is if you look right there, there's a massive puddle on the, uh, the wood. And that puddle has come from the transmission pan, there's a bolt or the drain plug and it has a nut on top of it that is welded to the pan or spot welded and those welds are broken and that nut just wants to spin around and around and around. I thought about replacing, you know, spot welding it back on but even still I put thread sealer and um, another o-ring around it and it still wants to freaking leak fluid so I think there's just a bend and it's not really letting it sit in. So uh, we're going to change to a different pan. So I bought this Aeroflow pan that has a nut and a new seal on it that's not bent at the spot. So um, that's another thing we'll be doing. That's probably what we'll be doing first. And then the thing I'm most excited about addressing is putting a new set of mufflers on here. So um, the ones that are on there don't sound that great and they're way too loud. So I'll be throwing these new ones on. So I've got, to, uh, got some, what do you call it? flanges I'll just be welding them to that and then bolting these boxes in place of where the current ones are and I've got to move the exhaust hangers and things because the current exhaust hanger setup actually mounts off of the exhaust box so things have to be readjusted. Another thing that I've also done for the car or have bought for the car is uh, an O2 sensor so while we're in doing exhaust things I'm gonna drill a hole and uh, put in the O2 sensor bung that goes in the system. So uh, we'll also do that there while we've got the exhaust off like we're doing the mufflers. Well I've decided I'm going to do the transmission pan first because uh, number one it's probably the easiest thing and also I don't have to be rolling in transmission fluid underneath the car or leaking transmission fluid. Yeah, look at that, about a hundred bucks worth of transmission fluid on the floor. Uh, all I'm doing here guys is cleaning up a, a pan that I could put transmission fluid in because I don't want to put new stuff in the box because what's in there is only about 200 k's old and it's expensive and there's a lot of it in the Turbo 400 so I'm just going to drain it all out into this, put the new pan on and throw it back in again. Just make sure that this is perfectly clean so I've break, cleaned the shit out of it and blown it out with the dusting pistol and everything so should be good. Look at that bloody thing. About to drip again. <laughs> so yeah, you see it dripping away. Um, yeah, the nut is just spinning in there again. So I'm just going to get a, a screwdriver and a hammer and just punch a hole in that bitch. Because fucking hell, man. Like, seriously. What a piece of shit. So um, yeah, that's how I'm going to get the oil out. Fluid. And look at the mess that it's made. Like, output seals good. Oh. Look at all the shit. There's fluid freaking pissing everywhere, like all over the pipes and everything. Well there we go guys, mission successful, <laughs> punch a hole in the pan. There it is coming out. <laughs> yeah, it takes a lot of fluid, had to do the old pan switch. So uh, I've got the new pan taking the fluid now, I'll put this in a bottle. So here's the old muffler boxes. I wasn't super keen on the sound that they were making and they're pretty loud so um I just got to replicate where all the uh, brackets are and things and put on some flanges on the new ones and then reinstall them. So here's our comparison, these are our new mufflers, they're the old ones, they actually look a little bit smaller our, uh, our new ones but these are tri-flow ones so it has to go three ways, it goes down and up and around or something like that and um, they're supposed to be 
designed for quiet. Um, these they don't they do fuck all. Um, hopefully these do a better job at keeping the car a bit quieter. Well, our transmission pan is mostly finished draining. A little bit, it's still buddy dripping. Who cares now? And uh, let's get it off and get the new one on. So here's our old pan, and if you'll see here, this nut, see it moves, so I couldn't do the nut up, which was uh, not good. Here's our new one, and that looks a lot better. Well guys, the normal thing when you're building cars that you can't change one thing without changing another. So here is our shift bracket for the transmission and this bolts up through the uh, the transmission pan and into the case and with our new pan it's a little bit wider and um, yeah it runs this, uh, this bit right here uh, interferes with the side of the pan so we need to make this hole elongated over that way a bit so uh, it will bolt up in there. That's it, so uh, we'll do that and put it back on the car. Well yeah, I drilled the hole and it uh, turns out this piece is tack welded that through that hole. So now it wants to move, so uh, I'm just going to lay a weld there and uh, that will solve our problem. Can't see very well. Might turn the shed light on. That might solve our problem. Mm, a little bit better. Uh, yeah, brake clean's flammable, guys. There we go. Let's go cool that off. So there you go, guys. Just some bodgy flux core weld. It'll do. Well, uh, no, that wasn't quite enough, so I'm going to grind some off that edge there. So uh, it can go in closer, so that hole will line up. So there we go guys, new transmission pan is installed with our new shifter bracket set up there. So um, yeah, now I'm just going to drop the front of the car and then raise the back so uh, we can get under here and figure out where we've got to put our mufflers. I think our tailpipe sections might be removed and we might be just ending it before the diff because that might be a bit easier for the time being because I don't think that is going to be easy to join up. So I've sat a muffler up where one should be and I've found that the body of it is hitting this part of the rail and so that probably means we'll need to make this you know half an inch longer or something because it hits about here so you know any is too much so you need to make it a bit longer and then we'll sit it back up there again and the bracket mounting positions should be about the same because width wise these mufflers compared to the old ones are at the same so well, uh, probably I'll go check the other side first, and then if that's the case, we'll add a bit of length to both of them. I've had a bit of a think. What I'm going to do first, I'm just going to tack a flange to the uh, the box, and then go check it out again to see if there's any way without extending or this end, extending the uh, pipe because that's a lot of work for not a whole lot. So if I don't need to do it, I don't want to. So uh, I'll check this one here, and even if it means that the box has to be a little bit lower than it was, it is what it is. So um. We'll uh, get to zapping that on now, just a few tacks. Bit of eyeball engineering, just sort of sitting on there. I think we've got it pretty much straight. Lay tacks down. One. I think my settings could be better, but it's on there now. Well there you go, that's the muffler sitting in its place. 
I don't think we'll need to extend anything, but uh, looks all right, I think. So um, I'll go cut some brackets off and sit them on this one and see where it sits and if it's all good, we'll tack them on, test it out again and then weld everything up for sure. So here's our two old brackets that I've just cut off this muffler box and um, we'll sit them on the new one to see where it, they are in relation to uh, the car and the muffler. So here we are under the car, I've got brackets on, see that's just what I just cut off and I'm just marking them to the muffler box and there's one on the other side so he'll go like that and I'll, with a uh, sharpie, go around, trace it and then we know where to weld our brackets onto. Not a whole lot of clearance between the tailpipe and muffler box but, you know, if there is, it should be fine. Um, I decided to switch the muffler around because the outlet have decided to push on um, the outside because our tailpipe might be able to line up with it later when we decide to do that. So um, at the moment I'll probably just whip them off and run them as out of here first to just see how things go and if it's uh, the right uh, sort of muffler, but I think they are. So um, I'll just do the same thing again, text the line, that sort of shit, and um, yeah, tack it on, seam it all up. And this side is done. See, I've traced them out. So, see, there's one there. So, that would go like so. And then on the other side, there's one there. And, you know, that's upside down and up on upside down. Um, I'll get back to you when those brackets are on. So, here we go, guys. Got brackets on. Not going to show the welds too much because they're not very pretty, but it'll hold. So, I'll put it in the car. Well, guys, check it out. That's uh, one done. And the other side is the same thing, but we'll skip to when I finish that. There we go, guys. That's the second one sorted now. For the driver's side. We'll uh, chuck it in. So here's my muffler installing setup. Just line everything up. Got it sent on a jack. And I can just jack it up until you know, the flanges align. And um, there we go. Bolt it in. Well, guys, check it out. There we go. There's our muffler boxes on, so I'll drop the car, I'll remove the tailpipes, I'll drop the car back on the ground and we'll start her up and see what she sounds like. Almost forgot, but don't forget before you start, is uh, put some transmission fluid back in it, that could end badly. So, I've topped it up with fluid. I'll sit these down and we'll start it up and see what this new system sounds like. And by the way, this is completely cold. I've not started this in probably two or three weeks. Here it is on the outside, it's a little bit quieter. Sounds better, it's definitely a deeper note. Chucked a different carby on there for a bit of an experiment to see if that's our uh, problem. I think that's the problem carb. I've got a, uh, a double pump on there at the moment. So now, guys, it's, been, it's now it's the next weekend and we're still playing with the Ute, but I've got a different carb on there now as the other one that you just saw was my boss's, so I can't keep it. So, uh, yeah, this is a 800 which is really big for this engine, but I took it for a drive last night and there's no problems it it loves it. I can whack it from anywhere and it just goes. Yep. No bog. No nothing. So um, Yeah, we'll take it for a quick spin and we'll show you what um, an 800 CFM on a 357 cube motor does it's uh It was faster than it was before with the 750 vacuum secondaries. So guys we're going for a completely cold start. No choke <coughs> We'll uh, prime the pump a bit <clears throat> Let fuel get in the carb. One pump and look at that. And it's probably about, I don't know, 15 degrees, 10 degrees out this morning. Winter time. Starts like that. Let's go for a bit of a spin.
today, guys, for the uh, the Ute. We um, got new exhaust on it, carbs, new carb on it. It's 800. I know it's freaking massive, but it works awesome. So fuck the haters. I mean, I mean, yeah. And um, we'll see you next time.